as you know, we are doing this uh, this options class next week, and and some people ask me, okay, Marcus, how do you decide what strike price you want to sell and uh, and whether there is enough premium in there. If you're attending the class on Monday, I have something very special for you. So I, I did this, a put options calculator um, that I will give you as, as part of the class. So if you're joining the class, and as you know, it's only $147, so you should definitely do this. I'll give you this. So this is where you type in your account size. You see my account right now that I'm using, it's a smaller account that I use for trading options here. Uh, it's only $33,000. I started it two weeks ago with uh, $25,000. I looked it up yesterday, $25,000, $380, and right now it's at $33. So uh, he here's what you can do. If you have a few options that I'm looking at, for example, I was looking at the airlines today. So here's how you can quickly compare if an option makes sense to sell. So United Airlines, you just uh, type in the stock symbol here and then the stock price. And right now, as you can see, it is trading at $31.08. So now if you want to look at a strike price, I want to look at the April 24th. So I want to look at the strike of let's say 20 and here's why. So United Airlines um, today, surprisingly up, but you see uh, there, there might be some resistance right here support, I mean, at 20, right? So I'm, I'm thinking about maybe it would be a good idea for United Airlines to sell the 20 put. And again, if right now you don't know what I'm talking about, well, watch the options class that I did yesterday. The link is in the description. So this is what I would do. I'm looking at the strike price of 20 and then I look at the option premium. So right now it's 74 cents over 87. So I probably can get 80 cents for this. So 80 cents and this is all I need to enter. And I enter the expiration and you see this is what my handy dandy Excel spreadsheet does right now. It says Oh, this means that United Airlines can actually drop 36% and will still be okay. It has to drop 36% before we get in trouble. I think that's pretty good. It also says that based on my account size, I should buy 17 options. I would collect $1,320 in premium. Days to expiration, you see that we have a total of 15 days. But out of these, it's only 12 work days. I don't count the weekends. I only count the work days because on the weekends, exchanges are closed. Nothing is happening, right? So this means that per day, I would get $110 in premium. That's not bad at all. If you can make $100 on just one position, I like to have four to five positions in my account. So this means that you can make four to $500 per day collecting premium, right? So I like this a lot because it means that annualized, I would make 87%. I think 87% is nothing to sneeze at, right? I mean, this is uh, this is the plan. So this is what I was would look at. And then if I want to see, uh, okay, how does this compare to, for example, let's just do American Airlines, AAL. And I'm bringing up AAL and I'm looking at the chart and I say, okay, uh, what strike price would make sense for American Airlines? And for American Airlines, uh, it looks like probably more towards an $8 strike price would make sense, right, down here. You always do want to do it below the previously established lows. So let's take a look at uh, the American Airlines. The price right now is $12.26. So the option strike price, oh, we said we probably have to look at, uh, at $8. So here I probably can only get, um, let's say, $0.35. Cents. So an 8 strike price, I get $0.35. Cents. And you see, oh, I could actually, since American Airlines is so cheap, by 41 options uh, based on my account size. So 41 options and I would collect $1,444 in premium. This means I would get $120. That's not bad at all. And you see American Airlines also can drop 35% and uh, we would still be okay. We only get in trouble if American Airlines over the next 15 days drops more than 35%. Possible? Yes. This is why you should always be willing to own the stock. And this is why right now here, uh, you want to make sure that you're not getting in trouble, that you're adjusting your position size based on your account. Here, obviously, I don't want to trade two airlines because if airlines are crashing, they probably all do. But we could also take a look at uh, at Boeing. You know, I, I like trading Boeing. So uh, let's take a look at the Boeing chart and see where might be a good level here to sell Boeing. 100. See, 100 is probably good, maybe even a little bit higher. But let's uh, let's first try a strike price of 100, shall we? So. For 100, uh, we get probably a dollar 55 right here. 
Boeing right now is trading at 150. Uh, the option strike price would be 100. The option premium, uh, it's probably $1.55 that we can get. And you see, this means that Boeing could drop 33%, so we're good here. However, we can only buy three options. Why? Because Boeing is really expensive. So if we would have to buy Boeing at $100, this is when it gets expensive, right? So see the strike prices here are much, much, much lower. But anyhow, this is where you see, oh, I could only trade three, not to overextend myself. And that's very important when you're selling puts, you want to make sure that you're not overextending yourself because otherwise you'll get margin calls. And margin calls are ugly because a margin call means that your broker tells you, I want more money. You want to avoid that. You want to avoid that the broker says, I want more money. Because if you don't have the money, you would have to sell the stock at a price that you don't want. And usually this is how you can wipe out an account. Anyhow, you see, this is how we would only make $43 a day. Let me ask you, what would you rather make? $110 to $120 per day or $43 per day? I don't know about you, but for me, these are better. So it's very easy to quickly compare uh, which options you should be trading when you're selling puts. So again, I'll explain it all in more detail when we have the class together. If this is your first time here and you haven't heard about the, the class and what's going on there, yesterday I did an options 101 and one of my favorite trading strategies, which right now is selling puts. This is what you have seen. And I would actually go up to sell four different puts. So my goal is to make four to $500 per day by doing so, right? Uh, so that would be the idea. I'm actually very tempted to put on one of these trades. I'm very tempted to put on the United Airlines trade. We can actually also analyze Delta. United, I think all the airlines are up today. So if they're up today, this means that probably, I'll oh, look at this, 13%. The best days to sell puts is on a down day. So this is why, yeah, it will be nice. So if you want to put on a trade and you know what you're doing, then you, you can do this. Um, I mean, this is where we're looking at these these possibilities. I mean, I like United Airlines here, but I don't like to do it on an up day. I like to do it on a down day. Uh, and here's why. On a down day, usually the VIX is shooting up and option premiums are higher. So, and we have had United Airlines, let's just take a look at this. They have pulled higher for a few days in a row here. Hmm. <laughs> very, very, very tempting. Oh, holy moly, look at this. The bid and ask is jumping around like crazy. Whoa, 50 over a dollar 50. That is interesting. I mean, if we could get for the United Airlines 20, if we could get a dollar, holy moly. Is there something going on that I don't know about? Let's take another look at the chart. I mean, 20 seems to be fairly safe here. Let's see if we can get it for 70 cents. That would be sweet. Let's see if we can uh, sell it. Let's go on trading here. So the quantity, what did it say? My handy dandy chart, 17. So let's do a quantity of uh, 17. Okay, and um, I wanna see, oh, now it goes down to 75 cents. So, dunk, da dunk, da dunk. Now we are looking probably at 68 cents. Let's see if this is making sense. Nah, it's all over the place. Let's see what would make sense. Maybe 75, 75 sounds good. 85 sounds good. Let's see if we can maybe get 80 cents for this. Let's just put the order in the market. We have another few minutes. Holy moly, it's going up here right now. Uh, let's see if we can get 85 cents. I mean, if I can get 85 cents, I'll take it. 0 0.85, okay, 17, we don't wanna buy, we wanna sell. Uh, let me just make this a little bit bigger to make sure we have the 20 put. Okay, all of this looks good. Let's uh, transmit it. See our margin impact, $5,500, that's okay. Override and transmit. Let's put this in the market and let's see what is happening here. Let's see if you're getting filled. I'm uh, gonna close the option trader and just bring up my account. So here's the order. I mean, 80 cents would still be fine. We're trading into the close here right now and you see, wow, it is going up, going into the close. So United Airlines, let me try to get 80 cents. So I'm putting an order in for 80 cents and the markets will be open for another three and a half minutes. I am right now the ask, that's me, my 80 cents. You see it right here? Are you enjoying this live trading or is this boring you? Let me know. If you're enjoying this, give me a thumbs up. 
And if this is boring you, let me know, because then we won't do more live trading. I mean, you hear me thinking out loud, and this is a live account, so this is real money. So you hear me thinking of what I'm looking at if I'm looking at a trade. So this way you get an idea. And you see, this is what we do next week together. Um, if you already decided that you want to be part of this, so I'll find the, the best options for you. Then we can run them through the spreadsheet here so that we compare them. And then I will show you exactly what I'm doing. So right now I'm going a little bit faster. So you know that the class will be limited to only 100 people because I want to make sure that you can really follow along. So I'm going a little bit slower. So the markets are open another two and a half minutes. I want to see if I'm getting filled here going into the close. If so, I wouldn't mind at all to do this. Okay. So let's just keep an eye on it. Uh, as you can see, it is, I have it on European time, 1457, just because I'm so used to it. At 1500 uh, military time, the exchanges will close. So we have another two minutes. Uh, we are the ask. That's me. That's us. It seems that nobody of you is front running me. Because if some of you, somebody would put in a uh, an order at 79 cents, it will show up here at 79 cents. Oh, somebody of you did. Who did this? Who is front running me here for 78 cents? But hey, I want my 80 cents. I know my price. That's why we deal with limit prices here. So I am not willing to compromise here if I'm not getting my 80 cents uh, because you see, let, let's go down here. Let's say what happens if I would only get 75 cents? Still $103. $100 is my cutoff. You see, everything below $100, it turns red. Everything above $100, it turns green. So I want to see $100 per day. Okay, let's see. Somebody else is front running me. Might be you, might be somebody else. 77 cents. So I think if I would come in with 75 cents, I might get it. We have another minute to go. Let's see if we can come in at 75 cents. So we're lowering it to 75 cents. That is the absolute lowest that I want to take here today. Let's see if you're getting filled. You see, that's us right now, 75 cents. I am the ask again. I'm the ask. I lowered it. We have another 30 seconds. Let's see if anybody is taking me up on this. Oh, they're dropping the bid. They're dropping the bid. They're not willing to buy it from me for 75 cents. I'm the ask. I'm offering because I want to sell a put. I say, hey, you can have it for 75 cents. Wanna? Seems that nobody wants to have it for 75 cents. Oh, well. We shall see. We have another eight seconds. Eight seconds going into the close. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. No. Okay. We did not get filled on this one, which is okay. So markets are closed and markets are closed until Monday right now. So we did not get filled on our order. Our order will be automatically canceled by the broker in a little bit. Markets are closed. But you see, this is super, super, super important. You have to have a plan. And here, my plan, this is what I've shown you. I wanted to get at least 75 cents. So anything less, this trade is not worth taking. Now, next week, when we trade live together, we trade in the mornings for an hour. So we have a full hour. This is where we probably find a few more opportunities. Honestly, I did not expect to find anything this afternoon because the markets were up. And when the markets are up, this is when usually premiums are pretty low. But here, I mean, in the airlines, it looked pretty good. And I liked United the best. I uh, earlier looked at Delta Airlines. I looked at American Airlines. I looked at Southwest and I looked at United. And I, I like the uh, 20 level of United. I actually talked to my head coach, Mark Hodge, about it this morning. And I said, hey, you want to do it? And we looked at it together this morning and it didn't look good. Right now, I looked a little bit better going into the close. Hey, is this helpful? If it is, you know the drill. Hit on like. And if, the, if this is your first time here and you say, wow, that's pretty cool. Click on subscribe. So because this way you get notified by YouTube whenever I go live.